Consider this mysterious integral. What are your first impressions of it? Can you figure it out? Pause the video now to see if you can give it a try. All right, here we go. Our first observation is to look at the integrand and let's call it f of x. It's the inverse cosine of something. So my first inclination here is to actually take the cosine of both sides of this equation, therefore relieving the right hand side of that inverse cosine. Now we're going to take a look at that cotangent squared and rewrite it using an identity. We'll rewrite this as cosine squared over sine squared. And in order to combine that 1 plus cosine squared over sine squared, we would really like to write that 1 as sine squared over sine squared. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to absorb a sine squared into that radical by multiplying both the top and the bottom of that fraction with sine of x. And that's going to give us that the cosine of f of x is equal to the sine of x over the square root of sine squared plus cosine squared. And that identity, sine squared plus cosine squared, is equal to 1. So we just get cosine of f of x is equal to the sine of x. Things are starting to clear up here. Let's keep going. So now, using the co-function for sine of x, that is cosine of pi over 2 minus x, we can then draw the conclusion that f of x is really pi over 2 minus x. That's going to make our integrand much simpler to deal with. So now let's go ahead and make that substitution into our integral. And now it's the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of pi over 2 minus x dx. Something that has a very straightforward antiderivative. And evaluating the antiderivative from 0 to pi over 4 using the fundamental theorem of calculus, we can then evaluate this integral. And the answer is 3 pi squared over 32. Pretty intriguing. Hey, I hope you liked this video. Please hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell for more videos and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.